Scorpios, so that was your 2019. How are you? It's been a journey. So thank you very much who has supported this channel for the whole year and has continuously, um, how to say, subscribe and watching and sending all the love. Okay, for the Scorpios, and that's a wrap for 2019. We are now gonna be moving forward to your 2020. Okay, so happy New Year's, everybody. So let's see what's going on for the New Year's for the um, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what's here for the Scorpio. Oh, if you're an OG, you know where I'm at, okay? <laughs> Meaning, look at this. This is where we were at before, okay? <laughs> Going to the roots, okay? So here we go. Let's see here. Scorpios, okay? Wow, I'm shuffling long for you guys. Dear Lord, what's up with that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Here we go, Scorpios. Let's see. Oh my god, you got the Page of Swords. This is the card that I've been talking to the other Zodiac that I hate. I hate it, you know, because it's not, it's not good. Because <laughs> I, I just don't like that it has a dagger and it's hiding something. Uh, it's hiding its face. Um, and, you know, it's like something or someone, um, you know, it's like it can be Snoop Dogging your way, you know, their way into your life or just watching you and, you know, it's like, I feel like someone is really, really heavily stalking you. That's a page of swords. So it's a year of stalkers. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Let them watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's also about education, learning. The first card is strong because I have to explain this. <laughs> It's not something crazy, okay, but it is a learning experience. It is you, um, how to say this, gathering information and data. It is you putting your, uh, how to say this, um, as far as like you coming to school, you coming back to some sort of learning experience, um, and you want to know more. Um, but a picture story is an investigator. So either you're going to come as a CIA soon or an FBI. Mm -hmm. You're going to serve the country, can be, with a picture story. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the Emperor. Okay, so let's see. What's up with the Emperor? Emperor with the Page of Swords. Um, there can be someone who you have distanced yourself from, and I feel like both of you can be um, observing. Okay, observing the situation on okay, what's the next move? So it's very calculate, calculate, calculated. Okay. Um, the Emperor shows, of course, the energy of, um, like, okay, 
I've, I'm not gonna make a move. What's this person next move? You don't trust this person. Uh, so there's trust issues. Um, if you're the emperor, you know, because this is Mars for me, Aries or Scorpio. Um, you don't trust them because of, you know, they can be immature with the page of swords. Um, they can be like, their communication lacks follow-up. That's a page. But the, the emperor here shows that um, you don't want to be outsmarted. Okay. So this year can be a year of playing your cards right or correct. I don't know what, what how do you say that, right? Playing your cards well. Um, don't make any kind of sudden moves. Uh -huh. If it's about business with the emperor, um, make sure you you look into the situation like through and through, the fine details, you know, um, the fine lines. Uh -huh. If you're getting age, you're aging, getting fine lines. <laughs> Um, if you are trying to climb up the corporate ladder, you know, it's like if you're wanting to be more established, be careful on the haters, okay? Because um, when you're rising to that emperor mode and then you have the page of swords, someone is hating, okay, the level of your success. Now, haters will always be there, okay, because you have people who like you. It's the yin and yang. Some people will like you, some people will not, okay? If you are in an emperor mode. You can't win them all, but you can kill them all. That's for sure. <laughs> We're not killing anyone here. What I'm talking about here is that um, try not to please everybody because you can only be a good emperor to some and then a worse emperor to others. Okay. And this person does not like you. You could be connecting with a Sag. The Sag has a similar energy. Wheel of Fortune, as you rise to success in, you know, in the emperor mode, being your own boss, now, so not, not everybody is like their own boss, but your own boss of your life. Because emperors, you know, it's like about, they're independent. They don't need to, you know, to be with anyone or to be, you know, it's like to be with someone just cause they need some, you know, like that whole codependent energy. No. Um, there's something good that is about, uh, coming upon your life. I feel here it's more of your career, okay? This is the level up, okay? So, because um, the emperor for me is a 10th house energy. Um, and with the Wheel of Fortune there, it's something that is going to um, bring you to the next level, whatever that you're doing. So the next level is coming towards you. But again, I feel like you're suspicious. You're very suspicious of someone's intention to you, the Page of Swords. I don't like that Page of Swords. Uh, but at least you got a Wheel of Fortune in the Emperor. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. Fate um, will bring you, you know, luck. Jupiter is luck and that's the Wheel of Fortune. The world card, oh wow, I love this. Because the Wheel of Fortune with the world card, I feel like you're going to be, uh, you're becoming more mature as an individual. The world shows uh, Saturn. Um, anything on delay is up, um, is about to come to you this year. This year is a year for you to think big, okay? Especially, you know, it's transiting your second house, whether it be Ascendant or your Moon sign, okay? Um, if, you know, if it's your ascendant, okay, then your environment is growing bigger and chances are with the world card, you've been trying to uh, manifest something for the longest time and it's only now that it's manifesting, okay, because the delay. Now, if you're moon, okay, then look at it in a perspective like your mindset is becoming more influ uh, like influenced with bigger ideas, okay, so there is that expansion, okay, because it's in the second house, like your views, okay, um, will create that energy of, like, because Jupiter is wisdom, so you can, your mind can basically be um, giving wisdom to other people, giving guidance to other people, okay, so that's good right there, okay. Uh, I feel like you could be in a long distance relationship. That's the world card with the page of swords. Um, if you distance yourself and you're just focusing on your work right now, they're trying to understand, you know, it's like, all right, what's happening with you? And you get another page of cups. Okay. So the person you're dealing with, uh, Scorpio, I feel like they're really, really saddened about this. Um, you're showing that you don't care anymore with the world card because you ended a chapter in your life over here. Um, and it was hard for you to do that, you know, you could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. But the way I'm looking at this also is that um, there's a message of um, asking for forgiveness with the Page of Cups. Uh, it's very sentimental um, when you get it. Um, it can be like, hey, I miss you. Hey, da da da. Okay. So it might bring you to tears when you hear this person, you know, communicating with you because pages are a messenger. All right, here we go. Now, under the Page of Swords is a Knight of Wands. Intention-wise, this person can be a little bit just on the fun side. You know, it's like 
they want you as a page you know their action is very much of a night and i know it's like they're all about you know it's like oh maybe it's just casual you know it's like they just want something casual with you okay that's a night okay they're all about fun mm -hmm. but this person can also be um stalking you if you are single right now um and they're heavily watching you with regards to are you seeing someone dating someone and um because the page looks like they're very very obsessed on something they can't have mm -hmm. The tower, I didn't ex you know, I expected this regardless with your zodiac, okay, like, you know, having a tower moment is always, uh, you know, uh, a part of your genetics, your DNA. Um, always things are changing, always things are breaking apart, falling apart, only for it to be built stronger and stronger. Emperor with the tower, um, there will be a new um, home for you. Um, the tower is indicating relocating for this year. Um, Emperor, though, um, you'll probably be purchasing also a new home. Um, any kind of old habits that are not to, uh, not to your liking, let's just say you like, I don't know, sugar, dessert, you might be breaking away from that one. <laughs> so there's going to be a change, a big change in your life. Um, and chances are these are um, bad habits uh, with the tower. Um, let's just say, you know, it's like for you, like, you know, smoking is a bad habit. Then chances are of you quitting smoking then you know it's like this is the time for you nine of pentacles you are laying the groundwork for your wealth finances and health wealth uh, yeah with the wheel of fortune nine of pentacles um this year shows independence um this year shows an influx of um finances uh nine of pentacles with the wheel of fortune it comes to you um i feel like in uh, in like loads and loads of coins okay you will, you will see this um, the way I'm seeing this is um, it's because of uh, um, it's still Jupiter's blessing from the past transit uh, Jupiter in Scorpio now that's in Sag it's where it's at home it will continuously blessing your house of savings you will see it money comes to you um, six of wands um, the person that you're dealing with is trying to still squeeze their way into your life and trying to catch your attention but your mind is elsewhere um, they're wondering if the offer that you have given them in the past is still acceptable. Does it have any expiration? Meaning, this whole relationship, did it expire or can we renew? What is this? DMV? We're going to renew? Mm -hmm. So this year might be uh, not a renewal year. Now we will see in the, in the extended. Because two of ones here, they're not dating anyone. They're always looking at the window and the car and their phone. You know, it's like wondering. Can it, you know, can we have, it's not about us starting all over again. Like for this person, it was never over anyway. For you, it was with the world card. Um, six of ones, they're just going to charm their way back. I'm not sure if it's going to be beneficial for you with, like, with regards to being serious. Since we already know that they were a knight, okay? Um, they were just there for fun. But you click, clearly you broke away with the person, with the tower. As far as like, okay, you want fun. I want something serious. Do, go do yourself. Nine of pentacles, that's what the next thing that you've done working on your coins and finances, which is good. We love that. Alrighty, so Scorpio, this is your 2020. Um, and I will see you in the other side. Thank you very much for always supporting this channel. And just in case you guys don't know, um, the new me, new you, who you is a workshop that we're having for the 2020, January 22nd or 25th, 25th or 22nd. Just check in the description box, okay? So that's that one. Um, if you are not available to fly to LA, um, you can always um, have it streaming the whole day event um, you know, with regards to new me, new you, who you. It's um, it's a workshop for coaching um, people who's trying to make their 2020 a different year, something that matters to you, and trying to create a, um, a better you know how to call it a better version of yourself. All right, Scorpios, I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here and also there is going to be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe, and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye!